closure glaucoma is sought to be caused by a positional or synecdochal angle closure. From the point now ideological treatment principle, the anterior chamber angle should be reopened to restore acute swim outflow past week and reduce the intraocular pressure when treating angle closure glaucoma. However, due to technical difficulties, such thoughts of reopening the closed angle have seldomly been practiced. In this prospective cohort study, we introduced a novel slit lamp procedure, paracentesis guided gunius necklaces, which was proved to be effective in dissecting peripheral anterior snake. 30 patients with advanced chronic ankle closure from coma were enrolled and received paracentesis guided gonius necklaces in this study. The results were impressive in that all treated eyes gained sufficient intraocular pressure control. The average intraocular pressure value in the treated eyes dropped from 47.1 plus minus 6.7 millimeter mercury on admission to 19.3 plus minus 2.8 millimeter mercury one week later. After three years of follow-up, the intraocular pressure in the treated eyes stabilized at 17.4 plus minus 2.2 millimeter mercury. Only nine patients need a junctive polycarpy eye job daily, one, daily at night <clears throat> to maintain the intraocular pressure at target level. No filtration surgery was needed in any one of these patients. The results of our study showed that anterior chamber paracentesis guided gunial synechalysis is essential in separating peripheral anterior synechy and reopening the closed angle in chronic angle closure glaucoma. And as that gunial synechalysis reduced the intraocular pressure in the treated eyes efficiently, we conclude tentatively that peripheral anterior synechy formation does not necessarily result in functional impairment of the trabecular meshwork sclams canal. It is practical and rational to treat chronic angle closure glaucoma through peripheral anterior snake dissection and anterior chamber angle reopening. Thank you.